Hello everyone, welcome back to Tarot Mystic 1111. This is going to be a timeless energy update. Um, let's see what's happening in your connection. What's the overall energies? If you wish to book a personal reading, then the link is provided in the description box below. Alright, let's see what's currently happening in your connection. currently going on what do you need to know we have make the effort create um, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so um, maybe your person is kind of holding back um, from putting in any effort in this connection all right and I feel uh, maybe you are a bit hesitant to um, you know take the lead or um, try to initiate certain things from your end so that's what this card talks about you need to make the effort um, maybe you're you're guided in a certain direction so you need to go in that direction and see if you know if it's working out right so that's there and then we have <clears throat> let's see what else what what else do we have what's currently going on in your connection what are the energies like let's see okay we have healing old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting so there could be blocks um, being created in your connection. Um, it's it's kind of you know blocking the progress of your connection because somebody still needs to um, clear past wounds, uh, release their past baggage. Uh, maybe somebody's having uh, inner child issues or you know the past baggage that they've been carrying is is creating blocks, right? So healing is being indicated. All right, let's pull on some tarot on this Let, and let's see what's this all about. What's happening in your connection? What are the present energies like? Okay, uh, it feels like um, distance is an issue here. Okay, there could be um, physical distance between you and your person. I feel that uh, right now your your person could be busy uh, and preoccupied with their work, right? Um, they're very much um, concerned about their finances and trying to put in a lot of effort. But I feel that uh, one of you 
seems to have you know already kind of closed this chapter with your person here and you are trying to move on you have turned your back on them okay uh, maybe because they were too slow in making a move towards you they were um not willing to put in the effort so one of you i i feel one of you is not willing to take uh, the initiative or make the effort and the other person is uh very much focused on taking this relationship forward but it because but because they're too slow it might feel like they're they're not interested so i feel you are uh, you know you're closing this this cycle and you're trying to move on right uh so four of swords at the bottom of the deck so i i feel you're you're very much on this person's mind you they they think about you um they're trying to heal this situation i feel there could be minimal contact you know very little to no contact between you and your person right now because they're still kind of healing the situation they're healing their um their past and thinking thinking it through you know basically thinking about you um maybe the memories that you spent together but i definitely feel that they just want to take a breather here they just want to take some rest because i feel it's been it's been really heavy for your person maybe uh work has been keeping them busy you know maybe mentally they're exhausted because there's so much that that this connection kind of brings up on the surface for them they they know that they need to clear this this old these old wounds and childhood traumas and that's exactly uh what your person is doing so i feel they're quiet all right not much communication happening but you're definitely on this person's mind uh we have the seven of swords all right so again i feel that this person wasn't really honest to you in the past all right when you guys were in contact and when you guys were talking to each other all right uh, you felt a strong connection with this person but they they weren't being as honest um as you thought they were all right so this person was somebody who just kind of played games with you right and they took away whatever they could so a little bit selfish energy here right but i feel this is something that they are addicted addicted to doing you know this is like addiction for this person they like to play mental games they like to fall into such relationships or um you know they uh, it's it's almost like a game for this person so they they were on dishonest to you about a lot of things and this kind of you know created a messy situation between you and them right seven of swords so i feel <clears throat> with the death card here you could be dealing with a scorpio and there has been definitely an ending here with the death card all right you caught this person cheating on you you know lying to you being dishonest not being real not being their authentic self and this kind of you know made you take this um decision of ending things with them right so there has been a huge shift in your connection recently all right and then we have the king of pentacles again i feel that um this person is busy working on their career on their finances you on the other end you wanted a serious commitment you wanted somebody who is serious in their approach uh to things in life you want in somebody who is grounded who's committed who's loyal reliable trustworthy but this person on the other hand was the seven of swords energy totally opposite of what the king of pentacles is right so they kind of disappointed you and you you thought you know this is not going to work out with this person right and you ended things with them they on the other hand um i feel they they have some money issues okay they might be um trying to very much focus on their career on their money maybe i feel that this person was not even showing you the real picture about their financial status or 
you know, trying to just hide a lot of things. Maybe they just told you a lot of lies about what their, uh, what kind of career they have or what their job is all about. So there, there has been a lot of lies here. And this person hasn't... I'm sorry about that, that this person hasn't been really honest uh, with you, right? So with the King of Pentacles, you could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn energy, but definitely an Earth energy here, right? So let's see. Let's see here what's what's really going on. So with the Four of Swords, I feel that a uh, Four of um, Wands, commitment was definitely um, something you wanted from this person. And I feel you gave in your hundred percent. You, as long as you were in this in this connection with this person, you um, you wanted to create that stability. You wanted to have that security in this relationship, and you gave in your hundred percent, right? You were very much focused um, on um, you know on this on this on this on this individual and trying to make things work out with this with this person and. You know trying to make this relationship work you did your best to take this to the level of commitment right you gave in your hundred percent but i feel this person was just kind of you know enjoying the attention they that they received from you and and hence this person was was not being honest all right that's why we have the um seven of swords energy they just kind of enjoyed your attention um but they never never tried to you know give you the commitment that you wanted right but you kind of uh, thought that this is a very special connection and you probably felt um you know stability and security in this connection right with this with this individual so you were very much focused on them but then i feel they were not being 100 percent honest with you right you were the only one giving in so much of effort and with the Knight of Pentacles, I feel that um, you thought initially this was all working out. Maybe you got a, if you put in the effort, they might, um, you know, also do the same. But I feel this person was too slow. With the Knight of Pentacles, you could be dealing with um, with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel this person was too so, too practical. And somebody who was just stubborn, you know, they were they were not willing to change or come out of this seven of swords energy. So, you know, you decided that oh, this is very slow. This person is is definitely not, um, you know, showing any any signs of changing themselves or you know trying to put in any effort. And this is what you wanted: the Knight of Pentacles energy, the commitment that they should give you, right? You wanted them to shift their energy from Knight of Pentacles to King of Pentacles, right? You wanted them to put in the effort, but I feel they never did that, right? So this kind of, again, made you walk away from this person, made you, you know, close the cycle here and turn your back on them. Again, with this, with these two cards here, I feel uh, physical distance could be an issue here between you and your person. So you just kind of, you know, you decided it's better. You don't put any more efforts because you've already put in so much. You've given your 100% and this 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 individual is not willing to, to change. So what to do, right? So let's see. Um, what else do we need to know here? Any more information on this connection? What else do we need to know? Okay, we have six of pentacles. Wow, so many pentacles here. So I feel that one of you was being very practical about this this connection. You know, you, you saw it, you met this person. There was like um, an instant uh, connection that you felt towards them, um, that you felt with them. And then you wanted this, this commitment. It was very straightforward for you, right? You had it all planned out for yourself. But then this person's kind of weird behavior um you know it, it it just kind of made you take this this harsh decision of walking away right any more information what else do we need to know all 
um, with so many pentacles here, I feel that you could be, uh, you know, working with this person or could be having monetary ties. All right. Okay. So we have six of wands. We have nine of swords. This person is going crazy. I'm telling you, as you move on, they know that you've, you know, this is this is like your final decision. You've decided to completely shut them off. And this is what's making this person go crazy. <laughs> go crazy and they also feel guilty about how they behaved in the past with you, right? But they're going to do anything to have you, have your attention, right? So they're going to come to you. And with the three of pentacles, they're going to work on this situation. Now, when you have decided to move on, we have the king of wands. Yes, they're going to pursue this situation with you. They're not going to give up. All right. They're not going to give up. We have fire energy here, Aries, Sag, Leo. Right. And bottom of the deck, we have knight of wands. Again, <clears throat> fire energy. So this individual is somebody who's very ambitious very passionate and they want what they want and right now they just want you and ever since you've left this connection you've moved on this person is going crazy and they want even more of you so they're gonna you know try all the ways whatever ways they can to have you back in their life um <clears throat> but with the knight of wands i feel that um they still kind of lack the stability and you know the consistency they are definitely feeling very passionate towards you but then where is um the commitment right that's that's what you're going to ask them even if they come back to you even if they want a second chance this is the first question you're going to ask them where is the commitment are you willing to give me that commitment or are you going to uh, you know play games with me again right <clears throat> that's what you're going to ask them so uh I feel this was a very, uh, you know, imbalanced connection here in the past. Like I said, you were the one putting in all the effort and this person was just, they just used to love whatever you used to give them. A, a very, very taker and selfish kind of energy here, right? And they tried to breadcrumb you all along without being honest, right? They lied to you. They just, it was a very one-sided attraction or a very, um, you know, an imbalanced connection i might say so um you were the one doing all the work here you were very much focused on taking this relationship forward you did everything you could on your behalf but then you know this person was just you know they were very casual about this they were not as serious as you were about them and they were very casual they just loved to flirt with you they just wanted your attention right and this is kind of, you know, this irritated you, you know, this, this wasn't going down well with you. And that's why you decided to move on because they were not being as serious about you as you were about them and this connection, the future of this connection, right? Um, so you decided to move on and now this person is going crazy with the nine of swords, right? They're having sleepless nights, they're having panic attacks. They also sometimes think about offering you that commitment. And that's what also makes them go crazy in their head. They kind of, you know, end up overthinking about it because they're not somebody, you know, they're not used to that kind of uh, an attitude or behavior. It's not in their nature to um, get into a committed relationship because the Knight of Wands is mostly, you know, a fun-loving individual who just loves to be in different relationships, casual relationships. Uh, but now, ever since you've moved on, this person is going crazy and, you know, they don't know, like, now they miss you so much. They want your attention, right? That's what they're missing. And they're going crazy, probably also feeling guilty about the way they behaved with you in the past, right? And now they're thinking about all the ways how to get back to you. And with the world card, you have definitely moved on. And this person could be, you know, asking their friends or some mutual friends or... Um, they could be taking help from others, you know, taking advice as to where you're planning to move, what your next move is going to be, Ryan, what's on your mind. Um, if you have found somebody new, what's going on in your life, they want to know everything about you. So they are very much focused on you now as you have moved on. 
because they want to have you back in their life they are going crazy because they cannot reach out to you right also i feel this person has some addiction issues uh, like i mentioned before and they could be healing from these addiction issues as well but even through this healing they are very much thinking about you okay so they want to work on this situation now they could be asking their friends um you know trying to from from their you know reliable source where you are going or planning to move or what you're doing these days right so they're very much focused on you and um i feel with the king of wands they are very passionate about this connection a very slow um in making that commitment and offering that commitment to you but a very passionate individual so they're going to pursue you to the end they're going to find you wherever you go and they're going to you know make sure they they have your attention they will pursue you and chase you and i don't think they're going to let you go so easily now it's up to you what you decide to do with this individual but they're definitely going to be back and i feel they're also doing some at least they've healed to some extent all right with the, with the four of swords they've healed to some extent and i feel um right now they're very much in the king of wands and the knight of wands energy right but this is what you want them to give to you so if they can you know step out of this king of wands energy into the king of pentacles and at least try to change themselves and um you know heal themselves and give you that commitment you might maybe think about them right that's that's what um you're thinking right now so let's see what happens all right this was the energy update for you all let me know in the comments below if it resonates or not please do like share and subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and i'll see you on your next one thank you so much for watching